Hello friends, this is Eric Harrison. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I welcome you and thank you for being here. And if you're a regular, welcome back. My intention with each and every video I post on this site is to give you aims, attitudes, and actions that you can take today that will lead you in the direction of your highest, best goals, from where you are now to who you want to become. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the importance of not how focused are you, but what are you focused on? I want you to develop the mindset of a champion. And in this video, I'll give you three actions that you can take today to improve your mental outlook and to have the mindset of a champion. So let's get started. So the question for you in this video is, what are you focused on? Now the truth is, we are in the middle of a pandemic for sure. We continue to deal with the realities of the COVID, COVID virus, but the truth is, there's a lot of pandemics that are going on around us today. There's the virus, there's race relations, there's the elections, and who knows what's coming next. It seems that there is so many things going wrong in our world today. And it's hard to keep a positive outlook with all of that going on, isn't it? Listen to this, in 2018, Harvard Business Review did a study and reported that 94% of all the news headlines that were reported were negative. The old saying, if it bleeds, it reads, is alive and well. Now that was in 2018. Can you imagine in 2020, at the time of the recording of this video, what it is now? I've got to think it's close to 100%. So the point is, we can do very easily focus on all of the problems, all of the negativity going on in our world today. But here's the good news. You can change your inputs today. And if you commit to changing your inputs, immediately you will change your results. And when you begin to change your results, you start to change your future. So I want to give you... Uh, ideas, three ideas, which is even the better news of things that you can do today to begin to develop the mindset of a champion. You know, I use a lot of Zig Ziglar quotes because I am a Ziglar certified coach, but I started learning from Zig Ziglar when I was 16 years old. That was a few years ago. But the great thing about Zig and the reason I'm so excited to be part of his organization now is quotes that he penned decades ago are still just as relevant today as they were when he first uh, wrote them. <clears throat> so the quote I want to share with you today, when it comes to having the mindset of a champion, is this. Zig said, you are where you are and what you are. And I would even add my own uh, into that and say, you are who you are because of what you have allowed into your mind. So you have to be ultra careful what you're allowing into your mind. There is plenty of negativity, plenty of things we can focus on, but let me give you the better news, the three actions that you can take today to begin to change what is going into your mind and how that is affecting your results. Number one, I want to encourage you to turn off media. That's social media, that's any kind of media, print media. The, good, the, the fact is, folks, there's a lot of bad news out there. And we can get so sucked in and so engrossed in all the negativity. How many of you, just like me, have gone on and, oh, I'm just going to go surf social media for a few minutes. And the next thing you know... 30 minutes, an hour later, you've gone down tons of rabbit trails. You've gotten in a terrible mood. You 
probably even engaged in a few arguments with people that you disagree with. What if instead of that time, you use that time to form a new positive habit or develop a new skill or work on a relationship that you need to work on? Get away from the negative media and work on something positive that's going to bring you results immediately. Number two, when you talk about what you're focused on, I always encourage people, and it's in many of my other videos, if you go watch some of the other videos on my channel, you'll hear me say, you need to focus on what you can control, not on what you cannot control. So the reality is there is a lot of facts that we cannot change. We may not like them, we may disagree with them, we may get angry about them, but no matter what you do, they're facts. You cannot change them. So you have to focus on problems that can be solved. And when you find solutions to problems that can be solved, you grow, you prosper, you help other people, you serve other people. So number three is how awesome are your days? And when I say awesome, how odd are you by all of the opportunities you have right now? It's amazing to me that I can record this video on an iPhone, put it on the internet for free, and reach who knows how many people are going to see this over time. But more than that, how many, how often do you take time to just have a childlike wonder about everything that's going on in our world? How many times lately have you stopped to get outside and watch the sunrise? Or at the end of the day, the sun set? Or how many of you have walked outside at night and just stared up at the sky at the awesome sights and the awesome fast expanse. We need to have more childlike awe of the opportunities. And if you do that and you focus on the positive things, you will begin to develop the mindset of a champion. So again, to repeat, turn off the media, focus on what you can control, and have that childlike awe about everything that's going on around you. So my question for you, which of these three will give you the most immediate improvement and lead you toward your goals the quickest? I would love it if you would comment below and engage with other people. Tell them what you thought of this video. If you got value from this, please like the video and share it with friends. I would love to impact and serve as many people as I possibly can. That is my sole goal in recording these videos and doing this channel. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you soon in another video.